skydive and were pumped. I knew about this. I knew the weight limit, right? So 220, I worked hard. I've been dieting, as you can see on the screen, nice consistent progress. I don't want to diet too fast because when you diet too fast, you're at risk of losing muscle. We thought this is a good ability to make a video on how to lose weight intelligently and how much you can kind of alter the scale. Like even right now, I woke up this morning, 216. I've been weighing about 214. We're on a trip. Obviously, I've been having different foods, different time schedules, all these different things natural to see weight pop up. There's so many things that can impact weight. Shoes, clothing, um, you know, scoring, storing glycogen in your muscles. You'll notice when you work out versus when you don't work out. Holding creatine, all these different things impact weight. So this is a really weird situation. It's like I'd be under 220 with shoes, clothes, and having enough food and water to not want to pass out. So let's see where I am now. We're about uh, an hour and a half away from my weigh-in. So you'd say, oh, I'm completely good, right? We're like two pounds under, whatever. But here's where it gets interesting. I have no shirt on, that's not gonna add a ton, but it will matter. That's where things are sneaky. And if you're weighing in wearing shoes at random time of the day, you can see the fluctuation. So even with shoes, like you're like, shoes probably weigh what? Quarter pound maybe at most? But check this out. Like that, I gained Ooh, two pounds. Ooh, dang. Now we can work against it in a different way. This is where things get funny. So if you followed us for a while, me and Kyle did a powerlifting meet, and that was awesome. That was a lot of fun, but we did one where we cut a lot of weight. I'm not a fan of weight cutting. If you watch UFC, all these things, it takes a lot out of you. And I haven't wanted to go about it for this trip. I could have just been 225 and just said, screw it. I'll cut 10 pounds of water, especially when you're a heavier person like myself, I'm going to hold more water. So instead what I did is I lost weight intelligently. I lost fat. I dropped my body weight to 214. Obviously I expect to have some water, I have that in the morning, I have some coffee. And what I'm actually going to do, an additional little tip, hopefully it's not overflowing, is I'm doing a hot bath. It's going to mimic a sauna. I'm going to sweat out some more water. But, you know, obviously we're going to crush skydive and as we do that, we want to give you good tips that you can use in your journey to lose weight intelligently. And you can understand that, you know, the scale is just a skill and you can see how you can alter this number a million different ways. I can be 10 pounds lighter, 10 pounds heavier, just the same if I have a ton of food. This should be an awesome video and a ton of fun. I think 50 minutes is more than fine. I'm pretty much out of the weight, but it would suck to miss an entire experience because of something so stupid. But, you know, even for something like this, if this is all sweat, I'm just losing water. If I drink it, I'm gonna gain it back. I always hear people like, oh, if I sauna more, I'll lose more weight. Like, you're not losing fat, you're just taking water in and out of your body. If you consider how much of your body is water, you can see how you can manipulate that number. But if you're looking for true fat loss, this should be none of your focus. You really wanna make sure you're doing things that last and work. Now, uh, let's see the weigh in and let's get those steps. I think I was uh, 218, so we'll see what we did. Got a good sweat in there, I did all only 15 minutes. Okay. How about almost a pound and a half? Let's go. We'll take it. So about a pound and a half uh, with shoes. We should be two pounds heavier theoretically. We should be safe because technically it's 100 kg, which is 220.05. Now I just gotta walk over, probably have a sip of water because I'm doing good. But we don't know what their scale is like. Yeah. I will say it's super inspiring, but also really funny to see a weight cut taking place for skydiving. like. Fighters, power lifters, like even bodybuilders cutting all this water, doing all this other stuff. But skydiving, I mean, we'll see. It'll definitely be worth it though. We made it. I'm six foot two. How heavy was I out of curiosity? Be with 198? No, 98. 198 kg, yeah, okay. 98. So what was I? 216. I told you to the dot. Chug in the water, 216, buddy. 216, let's go. Let's go. So we did it. We're good. 216, well under. I like to be super sure, right? You don't want to ruin and miss an amazing experience like this by doing that, but into the delicious food. Yeah. So one of my biggest things, especially when traveling, when eating out, like a lot of people make bad mistakes and like that's where a lot of people struggle and one of my biggest things is just focus on health, right? So for us, you know, this is a nice low calorie meal. Not that everything needs to be low calorie, but if you are looking to just accelerate your results, keep in that calorie deficit and just overall be healthy, if you're always focused on what's the healthiest option, how can I get the most protein here, how can I get the most veggies and fruits and stuff like that. Eat well, live well, focus on health and I guarantee you'll make so many better decisions and just be a healthier person for the rest of your life. So that's tip number one. You gotta eat way more food this way. Yep. Mm. Here's the other thing too, I've been working hard, I've actually been dieting, like I lost weight as you can see on the spreadsheet here. I mean, 
putting in that work. Now that I've meet, met this milestone, it doesn't mean go crazy. I'm not ordering the whole menu. I'm sticking to my plan, my fundamentals, and I still want to exceed with this. And then that's where you see a lot of show people really get messed up. It's a duo show, a physique show. They succeed, they look amazing, they work hard, and they can blow up like 20 pounds in a week. And that's what you don't want to do. You don't want that all or nothing mentality or anything. And this was like a little bit of a random challenge, but we did it, and now we gotta go skydive. Yeah, buddy. Sometimes you just gotta step out of your comfort zone, take a leap of faith, and trust the process. I'm excited. My dream is to fly over the rainbow so high. My dream is to fly over the rainbow so high. Just something crazy. We'll do that again? Yes, definitely. A wide, so high, direction sky. I tried to Oh my god, the adrenaline, like, that's just insane. You just gotta be fully present in the moment and just enjoy it. That's something crazy. Can't believe that. It doesn't feel real, you're just dropping, you know, it's just crazy. It feels odd being that high, so. Gosh, I'm still shaking, like the adrenaline is an amazing experience, especially in beautiful Dubai, like. It's just, it's one of those things, the adrenaline, and just trying to take it all in. I'm glad yeah. I yeah. How I you taking it all in, that was good, man. Coach yeah. Drew. Yeah, I know where to play beach volleyball now. Do you see the courts? Oh yeah. We did it, let's go. It was worth the cut. Feels good to do that. Crazy to jump out of a plane, that's a ton of fun. So you saw me lose weight quickly, you know, just for a short term thing, but to lose weight long term, I like to think of it as three pillars, like a stool. So if you're sitting on a stool with three legs, if we were to knock one of these off, you'd have a hard time balancing. If I knocked off two of them, you'd fall on your butt, right? And these three pillars, we're gonna work through them. But the first is nutrition. And this is one of the biggest ones here because it's the easiest to overlook. There's so many good foods, so many temptations. It can be really kind of difficult to know where to get started. But by really learning how to optimize nutrition, getting on a high protein balanced diet, being at your maintenance, being just below your maintenance to lose weight, you know, eating a healthy amount of food, knowing portioning, knowing what foods affect you positively and negatively is what ultimately is going to create change in your physique and your composition for you to lose real fat. So yeah, within pillar number two, something a lot of people neglect is just overall strength training. One of the greatest returns on investment in terms of just helping build your physique, toning, tightening, whatever you want to call it. A lot of people miss out on this, just focusing on eating, just focusing on cardio and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, it's going to help speed up your metabolism. It's going to help just so many things for the rest of your life. And when it comes down to it, you wanna make sure that you're not losing fat. You're actually building muscle within the process or at least maintaining muscle. So strength training, I highly recommend at least three to five times a week for overall fat loss and weight loss. One of the greatest underrated tips is just to increase your cardio output and walking is one of the easiest things you can do. Even here, we've been doing literally 20 to 30,000 steps. Obviously, we've been Ubering to further places, places but anytime we can walk, we've been walking. So check out some of the benefits right here. One other big tip is to stop trying to lose fat fast and focus on losing it slow and consistent. I know that sounds less sexy, but if you're the person that's trying to rush to lose 10 pounds, you're dying, starving yourself for a week, going way too crazy past your ability in the gym, you're gonna end up just falling off and feeling miserable. That person who just consistently banks their workouts, eat well, is in a consistent deficit, is gonna win every single time. So make sure you kind of approach it in that you know, mindset. Plan out how long you should be dieting. Set your rate of loss, one pound, half pound, two pounds a week. Aim to achieve that every week. And if you don't, kind of push that into the next week. Approach that mindset. Make it, you know, changes every single week and you'll get there. And number three, once again, these all are super, super important. If you're missing one of them, it's not going to work. You know, you can have the greatest nutrition, some really good training, but if you're not balancing lifestyle and accountability and just like all the other things that really make everything come together unfortunately it's not going to work right so that's why especially within our coaching program 
you can see on the spreadsheet here, we take a look at so many different things, you know, sometimes a lot in steps, sometimes a lot in different water things, you know, even for you if you're not optimizing your sleep, like, this is kind of everything that puts it all into a package. And I know so many people who try to eat healthy, who train really hard, but they're not focused on these additional things. So I just really want you to think about that today. You know, we actually are looking to take on three new clients as well at this current moment. So make sure to send us a message on Instagram with the keyword transformation. We'll take care of you. We'll get you the results that you deserve. But we want to make sure that you avoid spinning your wheels because we know a lot of people who are trying hard, who are once again just trying to do everything, but they're not seeing the results come in handy. So. Hopefully this helps you today. Uh, hopefully you enjoy this video. You know, it's always about stepping into your comfort zone. It's about, you know, if you ever feel like something's like just a little bit challenging and just like, you're like, ah, I don't know if I should do it between skydiving or signing up for the gym or coaching or like talking to someone, like it's always a good challenge to step out of your comfort zone to do that thing and it'll always go a long way. So we'll see you in the next episode. Peace out.